hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a minute it's been so hectic but i'm happy to be back yo my hair looks good fresh out of the bed i mean out of the shower it's winter before you people start accusing me of not showering in the winter well i have a predicament i have a fever blister i am not even feeling feverish forgive the ashy lips it is because of that problem well i have this little thing it's supposed to work some magic and solve my little problem but it is not so i had to lick my lips off screen forgive me for that tell me medical subscribers or my medical doctors or nursing fraternity or just the medical fraternity subscribers at large what causes these ugly things i have to go out in public and i have to wear a mask but worst of all i cannot even kiss my son it is contagious why though why anyway i'm just gonna apply and let it dry off screen uh, not off screen on screen obviously because i mean this is youtube this is youtube content it is terrible um i'm not shy because i am sick this is i'm technically ailing right yeah i have to carry this little thing wherever i go i don't know if i should be spreading it with my hands though but yeah i'm the patient so why not yeah um it goes all the way to the corner this uh, yucky it looks disgusting oh my god i hate ashy lips especially cons where do i put the leftovers once again i'm back before you get bored and unsubscribe well guys while we are on the topic it's winter right and you guys will not believe the price of cosmetics cosmetics are just so expensive so pricey i i wouldn't want to say ridiculously priced but they are up there with the diapers and the formula like the formula is up here the diapers there and cosmetics are right there close range that is that the deviation is so small like okay what i want to say or share with you guys is rather that i've been a fan of um a popular uh lotion like so many people um i've been a fan of epimax i love this thing because yeah of everything it is and some things it's not but it is gotten so pricey especially now that my son is also using the same and i have to use it as well so we gotta cut some costs and i figured let's cut some costs on my end so i decided to try out some new lotions and i would i wouldn't mind sorry guys i am looking outside because my window is open for good lighting just for you guys that's how much content i want good content i want to give you guys yeah well i have bought this i use their hand uh, cream and it's so awesome so they have um we just put that away okay so, uh, this is so bad i love their food products it's really really good i hope you guys can see that it was on sale in clicks about two weeks back and i got two of these obviously uh it was no three three for the price of two so i got this as you can see i've used it i actually am wearing it or used it this morning it's really really nice uh, but much cheaper compared to our conventional epimax that everybody likes um but epimax is i mean our fabo farm that is produced in namibia is the equivalent of epimax it's everything that epimax is just that this went to private school but yeah anyways i also saw when i was in clicks um about a week ago 
I saw some uh, products that I love that were on sale, but I haven't seen uh, this before, so I bought it. I'm sure you are familiar with Dr. Saul's. Um, uh, what is it? Oh, my mother is calling, guys. Should we ignore her call? No, we can't, but I will. Let's not be a good daughter. Yes, I'm back. She's doing well. Everyone is well. Even the family dog is well. Even the neighbor's chickens are fine. So I'm back. So I was showing you guys the Dr. Soul uh, body cream. I did not know. I was not aware that they had a body cream. So I bought it. It was also for a good price compared to Epimax. And by the way, I let me not forget to mention that I initially started using the Eucerin brand. Their lotion is 300 and something, 358, which is the equivalent of formula. And it costs more than diapers. I felt so guilty, so bad. Like, no, we have to downgrade. There was a need to downgrade. I mean, with the ripple rate and all. So I also tried this. It's really, really good. I would recommend. So those of you who use this or have used uh, this one before, please leave some comments in this. Uh, uh, please rate. I'm not going to delete that. Please rate the two lotions in the comment section and let me know which one's your favorite and why. Um, we'll be going out now, but um, let me just put on my shoes. I have this chinese socks they are so comfortable like so comfortable i got these cute slippers from my friend uh, monkey oh banana shoes yeah now oh, that's correct from my friend they are so cute um so i'm just gonna wear this because it's just a quick in and out of the office you just need to print some stuff and come back home um we are on recess um my employer has been kind enough to give us a week off it doesn't feel like much but it's definitely much needed rest so today i'm taking this gadget along so that i can have you guys for the day and bring you the content you've been waiting for for so long because i've been gone way too long but i am back now yeah hopefully this thing goes away by end of the week i don't want to go back to the office looking like this and who's gonna wear the maybelline lipsticks if my lips do not heal but anyways i gotta apply vaseline or something the other thing i must share is ladies and gentlemen yes it was almost two years ago when i gave birth and my doctor prescribed this as a nipple cream and this thing is also a good lip moisturizer i've been using it as a lip moisturizer ever since i stopped breastfeeding and even when i was breastfeeding really um because i mean if it can work for cracked nipples imagine the magic it would do for cracked lips so uh, yeah it does wonders but it really does if there are any mummies or mwalis uh translation of that would be who just gave birth on my channel uh watching this thing this little thing it looks so small but you don't have to apply a lot like just a tiny bit tad bit like that is enough you see i even wasted 10 mil it's 10 mil um you can find it in dscam or clicks or any pharmacy uh, do I really have to clean up considering that I'm going to be wearing a mask anyway? I don't want people seeing me like this. Uh, <laughs> that's a funny one. Um, because people are going to watch these videos and you say you don't want to go out in public like this. I'm such a hypocrite. But anyways, well, I don't want people seeing this they shouldn't know for now because by the time i upload this i'm probably already healed is it <laughs> anyways guys we have to go now uh, i'm just trying to 
finish this thing. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, I look like I'm playing with something when I'm not even trying to play around. Oh, man, this is just hard. Life is hard sometimes. Yo, guys. Oh, this is not the battle I want to fight as a daughter of the Most High. This is not my battle. No, I don't do well with this. Give me injections or pills or beer, then I'm good. But I'll check you guys on the other side. Yeah, bye for now. I'm hoping this will work. But before I go, um, I forgot to show you guys something um, that I also got recently. Let me just um, get them and show you guys. The Sobek brand also has a pillow mist which is in lavender and chamomile it's really really nice if you can get yourself one of these you will even sleep better well it's been working fine for me um yeah it hasn't given me flu or anything it's not too strong but i don't recommend you use it for your baby or your infant or your toddler no maybe for the older bundles of joy but not for the little ones here yeah? Because, yeah, they are so sensitive, especially now in winter. This one is doing great. You can get it from, I got it from Clicks. I'm not sure if this game stocks it, but maybe you can try. Well, they also have um, body mist sprays. I discovered they have these. Okay, the third one is probably in the car or somewhere because I got three of these. That's the first one in miss perfect it says miss perfect uh and this one says a body what miss mystify mystify yes mystify so that's what i wanted to show you guys before we head outside um yeah let me take my mask also are these um fever blisters common in winter and why Fever blisters when I don't even have a fever. It doesn't make sense. Make it make sense, guys. Make it make sense. Please explain this to me like I'm five years old. I don't want to Google it. Explain it to me like I'm five years. Sure. So I was just fixing my gadget onto my windshield. And it wasn't sticking at first. But it's on there now, so let me just get some cool air in. Yes, it's winter, but I still need some cool air. I don't use heaters, they give me migraines. And by the way, the hand lotion that I spoke about earlier is this one. You guys got it? It's that one. This is also from Clicks. This thing, my hand. Yeah, so. Let's put that on. I injured my hand. I cut my finger actually. Whoa, guys, be careful with those MasterChef knives. They are really, really sharp. They are as good as they say they are. Really <laughs> unpaid advertisement, but yeah. They are so good. I can testify. Where are my glasses? My glasses? My glasses? My glasses? Where are my glasses? The other gadget I use? My glasses? My glasses? Okay, I gotta go now. I'm receiving a call. Cheers! Littles! place of employment while I'm supposed to be at home resting because my employer gave us the week off but I'm here because I've got work to do and yeah yeah well I'll see you guys on the other side so I showed you guys a little bit of Kietmans so that is Kietmans that is um I shot it in time lapse 
so it will not be as good <laughs> as it's supposed to be i suppose but yeah it's something so that's what hey, why does my face look like that no that is not how my face looks in reality maybe i need a new phone guys the camera and my forehead like ah, my landing strip man i got the left forehead guys have you ever measured your foreheads but also this fever blisters why why must they even exist why they are not important they don't matter why who needs them nobody needs these things oh this gotta leave the cool shades in the car and quickly do what i came here for and then yeah it's um it's cold but i like it i like cold i love winter yeah that's your problem deal with it here we are bye beloved gotta go now unfortunately i cannot come with you guys in the office i even don't want to show <laughs> but yeah i'll see you guys on the other side we'll continue why do i keep signing off if i'm gonna record anyway somebody should stop me or tell me it's not cool um i just wanted to update you guys on the fever blister situation it's really getting out of control as you can see it's still not any better whilst i apply some hair cream or hair whatever to my hair that's what i use i love this brand it really does the work hopefully the wind doesn't blow my phone away guys like honestly i really hope it doesn't so yeah I was so sad earlier because I had some good content and then for some reason it just stopped recording and I even lost the video. I don't even know why. It was so weird. Like some people are asking me to still speak Oshwamber and then I kept telling the people that my Oshwamber is really not good but I'm gonna try so here goes. So there goes. I tried, but yeah, uh, it's really just not. It's not a vernacular. I really speak. I hardly speak Oshwambo <laughs> because they don't even call me Kandali at home. I mean, why would I have that name? I'm joking guys, it's a joke. Some of you people will be like, Yeah, I saw her on YouTube saying she doesn't even speak a Shivamba. Maybe she's not even proud to be a Vambu. Well, I'm not a Vambu, I'm a Shwambo speaking. Maybe you are a Vambu, I'm a Shwambo speaking. Yeah, well, yes, I was saying. What must I tell you guys? What must I tell you guys? I am running out of things to say surprisingly because i mean i never shut up oh, i am just here silently praying that my phone does not fall the wind okay let me just use this beer to secure my phone i mean beer can be replaced but this phone yeah it, i mean it can but it is costly anyways do you guys even wash your braids i wash my braids you know here wondering I had a conversation with a good sister Elia and she indicated that she doesn't wash her braids. Do you wash your braids? That's if you even put in braids. So do you wash your braids? I sometimes wash my braids and how often do you treat your hair? I have my hair relaxed, obviously you can tell. Um, but how often do you treat your hair, even if regardless of whether it's natural or relaxed or what you guys call treated him yeah but how often do you do it i try to religiously do it once a month like as soon as i take out these braids then i will be compelled to treat the hair but i 
sometimes wash the braids um, if I see there is a need to wash the braids then I'll wash them um, okay <sighs> guys it's been really a long day well nothing young children on Netflix cannot fix just a few episodes of that plus I took some flu meds right now just waiting for it to kick in and then I will take a nap hopefully after that nap I can work on this video and then upload it as soon as I possibly can because it's been a management so let me not prolong this video guys um I'll be at this for a little while with my braids yeah it won't be looking so ashy when I'm done but yeah I'll be at this for a little while but that's what I I'm doing I like the minty feeling it leaves you with like that I can't really say burning but it feels like your scalp is you know like that methyl kind of feeling yeah that's why I love this brand and particularly this hair food and if you ladies notice that there's quite a number of hair products on the market now it is so confusing i mean it is very confusing guys it is so confusing but fortunately for some of us my hair will not complain with either product um I'm just glad my products are not so pricey because I mean I started off earlier saying or talking about cosmetics but even the makeup products are expensive nowadays guys even with the variety I mean don't we all want to use Fenty by Rihanna but hey oh the prices man do this people know we have babies we got toddlers man we got toddlers and yeah be a prize so thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment and like and of course share my channel and pray for this little devil to disappear bye guys guys don't be saying i didn't plug you because i mean look at that this is how it looks in the end after all the work with my landing strip taking center stage, of course, and I shape it. You are well. <laughs> That's how it looks. Once again, adios. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Repost.